just going to need a little bit more in the pan. Oh, Yeah, it's hello. a bit under. Very under. I'd put a lid on it or something, too. You want to... Yeah. Tuck just in. gentle now, right? You're panicking. You've got to put everything else on the plate and that the last minute. Yeah. And it's got to be amazing. Come on, Jesse. Come on. Come on, Jesse. Hot. I just hope this works. You did all the buying, but it's now time for you to sell something back to us. That beautiful dish. Five minutes to go. Come on. Can you change the subway, Reynolds? Yeah, it's almost there. It's getting there. I've got all my elements done and I go to get my frozen citrus curd out of the freezer. This is going to be the centerpiece of my dish, so it's got to be perfect. The moment I look at it, I know something's wrong. I fill the dish with too much curd and now it's not frozen in time. Top six is safe place and that's my goal. Things have to be right today. I'm completely lost. The center is still quite soft. Is that gonna work? Um, nah, nah. It's just semi frozen. Uh, stupid of me. I'm just trying to figure out what can I do. Should I still go with the original plan or just change it up? Is it looking metal? I just didn't get it frozen enough. Yeah. Taste, taste the frozen outside, taste the inside, understand the difference with cold meats. OK. Yeah, that's really acidic. Ah, oh, crap. The curd not freezing has totally thrown the balance of the acidity my dish needed. It's far more acidic than I wanted, and I don't have time to freeze anymore. I can't believe I've done this. I've let myself down so close to the end. It's tiny mistakes like that that sends you home at this stage in the competition, and I've still got so much more to prove. Keep it going, Reynolds. Come on, Reynolds. You know how to cook. I'm not ready to go home. I'm not ready to give up. I do want to keep playing. I do want to keep pushing. The curd not freezing. There's nothing I can do about it, so I'm just going to have to pipe it onto the plate as is and hope my other elements are enough to save me, especially that balsamic meringue. I've got my potato elements cooking, but then I think of fish, and I think how nicely butter and fresh herbs go together. So I'm going to make a herb butter to add to my dish. I'm adding that on to complement the sardines and the rest of the dish. And just to add that little bit of finesse, I'm going to finish the dish with a sprig of dill on top at the end. I'm actually really surprised that Georgia's making a butter sauce for her sardines. She's only just counteracted all that oiliness and richness from the sardine with her vinaigrette. Adding a herb butter might cancel that out and land her right back at square one. Two minutes to go! Two minutes! Come on! Come on, guys! Come on, come on. push, 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 push! Come on, Jesse! Beautiful. Get it on the plate, Jesse. Come on. I've left the chicken to the absolute last minute, and I can't wait any longer. It is on the edge, and I just hope that it's perfectly cooked. 30 seconds! That's it! Come on! 30 seconds! I'm adjusting this sauce right up until the last minute, trying to balance out this bitterness. It's not coming together like I'd hoped. I'm adding a bit more butter and cream and just hoping for a miracle. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Oh. Well done. My balsamic and citrus has not turned out like I planned. The curd failed to freeze and has potentially thrown the balance of flavour in my dish. The only thing that might save me is that balsamic meringue.
everything's good. Everything plays into the other ingredients' hands. I love the balsamic, and I think that's what ties this dish together. You know, I eat that, and I keep thinking lemon meringue pie. You know, that meringue, citrus. I think the, the curd lets it down, though. Everything else is good. But the balsamic just kind of gives a little tap to the curd back into line. I think it's a really good dish, and I think we were, we were concerned, you know, 30 out of 30, probably the weakest dish yesterday, um, where Renault was going to go next. And for me, he's, um, he's nudging up towards the top of the scale rather than way down the bottom. Yeah. I think I've managed to knock together a pretty decent sardine dish for the judges. I've not cooked much with them, but I'm hoping it's enough to keep me in the competition. What is the dish? It's grilled sardines with a tomatillo and tomato salad, a potato sand and herb butter. So it's the water state, is it olive oil or is it buttery? I just think it's butter. Simple sardines grilled, they're already fatty and they're yeah. oily and they've yeah. got flavour. So I was wondering how you're gonna how you're gonna do this dish without that lemon and she's done it with the tomato well the, it's really the tomatillo isn't it that yeah. the tomatillos are so acidic almost like a lemon and that that's a smart move she went through she tasted everything and the tomatillos against the, the fattiness of the sardines it's absolutely delicious i love it i think it's really good i'm really pleased that what i'm eating is a really tasty delicious dish with oiliness from the fish and then obviously the the balance with the tomatoes and tomatillo so i think she's done a, a fabulous job uh, especially since she didn't even know what the dish was in the first 10 minutes. Um, for me, I'm not so sure about the butter dressing. You know, I sort of don't, don't, don't think it needs it because it's such a bright dish. Right, let's get the next dish in. I'm not sure about my chicken and the sauce. I'm just hoping that I've managed to get them right. Cool. Do you want to pop the sauce on, yes, do you? Yes, please. Today I've made roast chicken cooked on the crown with caramelised parsnip puree, parsnip chips and a sauce on the side. What do you think, boys? Look, you know, it, it, if you want a roast chicken dinner, you want it to be golden, and that dish is all about golden, yeah. isn't it? But we've come to expect more than just the breast cooked on the yeah, crown, yeah. even if you've only got 60 minutes. I am concerned about this chicken. So much depends on that sauce, doesn't it? It's really, really in the season of the sauce, this one. Yeah. Great sauces have saved people. Yeah. Sauce, average sauces have sent people home. Tell you what, it smells good. an awful lot of people home over the years on undercooked chicken. And this chicken is absolutely perfect. You can see it when you cut it, absolutely sheer. No, no sense of, of granular kind of texture, which is beautiful. So she's done that really well. Great golden colour on the skin. For me, though, there is a bitterness in that sauce. Yeah. There's a problem. It's lost its subtlety yeah. and its vibrance and its freshness. I think it's not the right flavour, I think, to go with it. I'm not surprised you're looking nervous. There's so much on the line, and today was all about saving yourself, but more importantly, putting yourself into the top six of MasterChef 2015. The reality is, with the quality of the cooks that are standing around you, that great food is simply not enough to keep you in. It has to be exceptional. All three of you had problems today in that cook. But in the end, you all pulled it together and put a beautiful dish on the table. One of those stood out for us, for its clever, creative integration of ingredients. 
Reynolds, we loved that balsamic and citrus, and that's why you're into the top six. Well done. <laughs> Reynolds, you've got to keep pushing the envelope, and you deserve to be standing over there. So off you go. Well done. Okay. Top six and avoided elimination. I'm happy that I've redeemed myself from yesterday. So it's down to you, Georgia and Jesse. There's only one place left in the, the top six. One who's about to go home. Georgia, those sardines were beautifully cooked, and pairing them with the acidity of the tomatillos was clever. But adding a buttery sauce with all that oiliness that was already on the dish wasn't smart. Jesse, that chicken was perfectly cooked on the plate. However, the dish lacked some originality. But the kicker was that that sauce had a bitterness at the back of the palate. And I'm sorry to say, that's why, Jesse, you're going home. I'm sorry. Thank you.